Compiled bindings are a method of informing Xamarin Forms at compile time about the type of data a binding will utilize. What implications does this have for us as developers? Essentially, we don't have to wait until the application is running to identify issues with the bindings. This, along with the fact that we will see performance enhancements, as reflection won't have to be used during runtime to resolve the data binding we are applying. A prerequisite for implementing compiled bindings is the activation of XAML compilation. We can easily verify this if we navigate to the file named assembly info ZCs and observe that this option is activated there. Here we have the XAML compilation options and it's marked as compile. If we ensure this option is activated, we can already utilize the compiled bindings. Here I have a very basic project where we are going to implement the compiled bindings. First we have a view called main page, which is currently blank. As part of the code behind, we see that we generate a new instance of main page view model, and this is assigned to the binding context of this main page. Here we navigate to main page view model. Essentially, this is a collection of customers. We observe that we have an observable collection list with a generic customer. And if we inspect customer, we observe that it only has two properties, name and age. So it's truly a very basic project. A group of elements is generated as part of this constructor. Here we observe that this list is initialized. And the concept is to have this view model as part of main page. OK, let's close these files and open the file that interests us, which is main page. What happens if we don't use compiled bindings? Essentially, we're going to insert an element into the stack layout, a label element, and we're going to specify that its text has a binding to a property named, let's say, test. If you noticed in the view model, this property doesn't actually exist. If we revisit the view model, we notice that here we only have one property, which is the list of clients, but we don't have this property to which we want to link the data, which is this test property. If we try to compile this project, note that it indicates below that the compilation has been successful. However, if we run the application, we see that the application has executed successfully. However, if we check the logs or this output of the application, we notice that at some point it indicates that the binding with the test property was not found in the view model we have specified, that is, in main page view model. In other words, it's not until we run the application that we realize we have a problem with the binding, and that's if we have experience reviewing this type of information. If you're new to Xamarin development, you might struggle to find the error you're making. So we stop the application and we're going to learn how to use compiled bindings. The first step we need to take is to have a reference as part of the XAML file to the location or path where your view model that you're going to use on this page is located. That is, if we go to our main page viewmodel.cs file, we see that the namespace is compiled binding test view models. Therefore, I'm going to go ahead and copy this namespace, return to main page, and I'm going to proceed to define a new namespace through XMNs. Let's name it, for instance, view models. This namespace can be any name that you prefer. I, to distinguish it, or to know which folder I'm referring to, will name it view models, and this is equal to CLR namespace, colon, and I paste what I copied or the namespace I copied from main page view model. With this, I have then imported the namespace where my view models are located. And the second step I need to do for this to function is to use a special type of data that is housed in X colon and it's called data type. Here it is. And basically, here I'm going to specify which view model I want to access to perform the validation on this page. In this case, I'm going to access this namespace that I indicated earlier, which is view models, and if I put the colon, I'm going to access the corresponding view model, which in this case is main page view model. I write main page view model. I save these changes I've made, and this is all I need to do to utilize the compiled bindings. How can we verify it? Essentially by executing a compilation. If I attempt to compile this project, 
Observe how it no longer indicates a successful compilation, but at this moment, it's indicating to me that the property test was not found in main page view model. So, we are verifying before running the application that we have an issue with one of the bindings. If we wanted to rectify this, we would have to create this property in the view model. I can do it swiftly. I'm going to declare a property that is a string type and is named test. With this, I already have this property to which I am linking from this label. Let's compile again and see that we currently have a successful compilation. Now I'm going to remove this stack layout along with its corresponding label because I'm about to paste a list view template that I've previously written. And here what I'm doing is establishing a data source towards a binding or a link to customers. And these customers are this collection that I've defined in my view model, which is the one we looked at earlier. I'm defining a template of elements, a data template, a view cell, and within it, I define a grid where I have two label type elements, one binding to the name property and another binding to the age property, which are the properties of my model. Here are name and age. Let's attempt to compile this change I've made to see what happens. And here it appears that we have a problem. It's indicating to me that the name property was not found in main page view model. And you might assume that this isn't working or that there's a bug or some other reason of this type. However, we need to pay attention to what the message says. This name property really does not exist in main page view model, thus this error message that it's throwing at us is accurate. Since we are only validating main page view model and not validating the customer model itself. So how can we resolve this issue? Well, what we should remember is that when we use any control that defines a data template, as in this case, we should also configure the compiled binding in it. What we need to do then to solve this is to also import the namespace of the model we are using as part of the data template. In this case, we are using this customer class, which is the one that is really defining these bindings. So at the top, I'm going to carry out another import of namespaces. I can open the customer class to copy the namespace this class has. I return to mainpage.cml and I'm going to create a new namespace. I'm going to call it, for example, models equals CLR namespace and I paste this namespace. I've already imported the namespace, but that's not enough. I have to carry out a second step. The second step is to come to this data template section, give a space and use this data type again. So after data template, I'm going to indicate X data type. And here I have to indicate what is the exact model that I'm going to use to validate this data template. In this case, if you remember, the model is this customer class. So I'm going to indicate that I want to access models, colon, and customer. I save the changes. And if at this moment I try to carry out a compilation, we see that we already have a successful compilation and we can verify this for example, by changing this binding from name to names. With the changes, I compile and notice how we already have a validation directly on the data model, also defined as part of this data template. I correct the error, try to compile again, and we already have a successful compilation. This is how compiled bindings or compiled links work. If this video has been of assistance to you, remember to subscribe to the channel spread the video or drop a comment if you have any inquiries.